my name is Ellie Lee and welcome to Fresh Pick Mondays. Today, we're talking about what? Taylor Swift dropped a new album and what? Eminem is back? Oh my God, I'm so excited. We're gonna talk all about that right here on a new episode of Fresh Pick Mondays. Hey everyone, my name is Ellie Lee and welcome to Fresh Pick Mondays presented by O Organics. Today, our lucky panelists, you guys, get to take home a gift bag filled with a variety of organic items from O Organics. Organics, thank you so much. Yes. Now, before we dive into the music, I, of course, have to introduce uh, my panelists, my homies, my friends. Let's start females always first. Oh, yeah. Nicole Wait. Mastrogiannis. I know that last name so well now. She's a music <laughs> journalist here. You're, you're always, you, let me tell you something. You're always decked out, and I really yeah. appreciate that. Everybody, yeah. Nicole. Let's hear it, let's hear it, let's hear it. Trey White, our hey, friend see. from Chicago. Guys, he came here from Chicago, okay? Yes. It's very special. Yes. He's a radio personality for WGCI in yes. Chicago, yes. for iHeartRadio. Let's give up for Trey! <laughs> um, guys, I'm so glad you're here because there's so much to talk about. And of course, Nicole, I know you're a certified Swifty. She, she, yeah. has a, she has a certification. <laughs> uh, Taylor Swift, the new album, oh my gosh, Reputation is out and about. And from what I'm hearing from you in the last few days, you L-O-V-E this album. Yeah. I do, blew me away. Blew you away. Yeah. Did you even say that it might be better than 1989? I think this is her best work yet, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. I'd be, if I may be as so bold to yes, say. Yes, yeah. be bold. Um, she's very experimental with this album, mm. The Sound. She only worked with two producers, Jack Antonoff and then Max Martin and Shellback. Um, and just, it's just so different from anything that mm. she's ever done. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I love everything about it. I love every single song. There's wow. not one song that I hate. Wow. I do have some favorites. Okay, Who, uh, uh, name your favorite, and then maybe name your not your uh, not your favorite. So my like my least. Yeah, your yeah. least, your least. If you Ooh. had to choose. I have favorites that are on the same level. Okay, like okay. Delicate. Okay. New Year's Day. Okay. King of My Heart. Oh my gosh, okay. she knows all the titles. Yes. She knows all the titles. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And then your least. Um, she doesn't have a leash. She can't even think about I it. Know, I what know. What about you, so, as a male? Yeah, as a male. You know, yeah. uh, I will say I am finally a Swifter. <laughs> wow. I am a a Swifty man. Oh, a Swifty. Not the well, Swiffer, the, not the cleaning yeah, thing man. here. I'm not a Swifty. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I you saw look her. happy about I, it. I Welcome saw to the her. Club. Yeah, see, I wasn't, at first, I wasn't all with the whole America's Sweetheart thing. Oh, okay, whatever, okay, okay, you know. okay. You still but then wanted I saw, to be Sandra Bullock? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, go ahead. But then I was watching SNL, and I was blown away from her performance. Wow, which so part, then, which part? What was the uh, moment? Was it a look? Was it a dance move? Was it, it a was, note? It was the dance move, and she oh. was just, you know, she, the fact that she could dance and sing, and I didn't know she was about that. Yeah. You know, I just thought she was just a... You know, it's yeah. so regular. Yeah, no, she can do Whatever. it all. But now, That's how she hooked me, too. Yeah. The last time she did SNL, that's okay. when I was like, oh, she's yeah. really, really funny. Yeah, so when I watched her, I'm like, okay, dope. So then I I heard Endgame with mm -hmm. Future, who was just doing his thing yeah. right now. And then I'm just like, you know what? I'm a Swifty. Wow, okay. I'm a Swifty now. You know, this song, Call It What You Want, mm -hmm. I listened to it many times, many times. And let's. Let, I just want to tell you what, what, what my interpretation of what the song is. Okay. It's like, she's Taylor Swift, right? She's got drama, everyone's hating on her. She's got Kim Kardashian on she got Kanye after her, yeah. all this stuff. And she's like, listen, y'all are doing what you're doing, but I have this man, my baby, you know, maybe it is her actual baby, maybe it isn't her actual baby, but I'm thinking her boyfriend, who's like, I got this guy and he has sheltered me and I love him and I'm okay and I'm better than ever. Mm -hmm. So you can call this relationship what you want, but I know what it is and it is lit. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, it's no, true. no. It's and true. a lot of the songs on this album are, are for Joe, actually. Yeah. Dude, do you think this may be the relationship that she will be in for more than a year? Because she's had a lot. She's she had has, a lot. She has. But she gets I a little think, flat for think, it. Yeah. Speaking as a, a woman, especially uh, in New York City, yeah. everyone has had a lot of boyfriends. Dude. So she's just in the spotlight for it. So I hate okay. when people like say, oh, she, she break up. Like, is she going to write Listen, a song about it? Like, who cares? Yeah. yeah. Also, like, Taylor Swift gets mad hot dudes because yeah. everybody wants a piece of her. And like, everyone's just jealous because you're not dating Very like true. Tom Hiddleston one day and then Calvin Harris another day. <laughs> OK? <laughs> Oh my God. So we love this album. We will yeah. say Taylor Swift it. is just, she just keeps going on to greatness. Yes. Is that what we will say? She'll be at the Super Bowl next year. I can't wait I'm to saying. go to her tour. That's what I, I think. can't wait. I am counting down the days till tickets go on sale. When do tickets go on sale? I believe November 28th. Okay, November. I'm sure people have it already tattooed yeah. on their body. 
Okay, they're ready. Oh, I've already ordered the sweatshirt, the little snake ring. Forget it. And it's, an, it's an arena tour, right? So it's an arena tour. Yeah. Dang, so you, re you really are a Swifty. Yeah. Have you met her yet? I haven't met her yet. So you haven't interviewed her yet? No. But you would die. I would die. You would die. <laughs> I love it. Okay, Taylor Swift, we get it. We're here for you. You're, you're an icon. <laughs> We'll see you in 10 years, girl, we'll okay? See. You'll still be doing. Oh, let us know what you guys think at iHeartRadio on Twitter and hashtag guys Fresh, Fresh Pick, Pick Mondays. Mondays, all right? Let us know what you think about Taylor Swift's reputation. That's not a song on the album. <laughs> it's so good. That was but a good so segue. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Um, let's move on to the next part. Uh, walk the Moon, What If Nothing. Now, guys, um, my sister is a Walk the Moon fan, and yeah. I was interviewing them uh, here recently, and I was like, listen, let me get you in. Let me get you a picture. You can meet them, all this stuff. So we had an interview with them. We talked about the owl, and then my sister came in. She acted so cool. I was like, how are you this cool? She's like, it's fine. They're just people. And I was like, bless you. <laughs> right. Bless you right. that you are so normal around the, your favorite artists. <laughs> anyway, so this album, you know, did you guys know that they were almost, they broke up for a little bit? No. After yeah. Shut Up that. and Dance? I, I learned that at, at their their show. Yeah, they broke up. They like, you know, a lot of things were happening and then they reunited at one of the, 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 the guys' wedding. weddings. Mm. And That's they were like, guys, story. it's that a beautiful is. story. And so they made this album. They're like, listen, this is like no apologies. This is like a raw sound. This is who we are. We don't really care if you don't like it because we feel really good in it. And there's something about that that is so respectful yeah. because I think a lot of musicians get caught up in like, what's the next hit? What's the next viral hit? Yeah. How many fans am I going to get? Right. It's like, no, 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 wait, well, let's get back to the music. Yeah. You know, let's get back to who you are and I feel like what if nothing is the birth of them just being raw and I love how you just said that they got to back together at a wedding you know that yes. just is a real brotherhood and real relationships exactly. you go through all types of ups and downs mm -hmm. but when you see that person mm -hmm. and you reconnect and you see the bigger picture of you know one of your brothers getting married it's just it's an amazing state it's an amazing feeling so yeah I'm yes happy I'm happy for them yeah. I love yeah no I like them a lot I'm yes not, I'm not really too much into like the alt scene I'm okay, okay. more of a pop person but yeah. I do like Walk the Moon a lot because I feel like their music is like, it is all, but like, you, it's like very dancey. You could dance to it. I love the single one foot. Yeah. I love their song Surrender, yeah. another yeah. one. Um, yeah, I'm a fan. When I was at their show, I was surprised at how many songs had different sounds. Yeah. So I was like, okay, Walk the Moon, I will walk with you to the yeah. moon because this sounds great. <laughs> also, I asked them, I'm like, what does this cover mean? And they're like, what's your interpretation? And I said something about like, you know, childhood, you know, looking at, you know, look this, the sky. The, yeah. And they were just like, that's exactly what you think it is. And I was yeah. like, okay, great. Um, so walk the womb. Walk the womb. <laughs> Don't walk the womb. Right. Walk the moon. What if nothing? Listen to it, guys. And like, you know, give them a chance if you haven't heard their stuff yet, okay? All right, uh, tweet us at iHeartRealist. Know what you think about what if uh, nothing. And hashtag what, guys? Fresh, Fresh Pick, Pick Mondays. Mondays. Now we're singing it. Okay? Ooh, yeah. There. You said that, huh? Thank you. <laughs> um, guys, ooh, 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 guys. Uh, Eminem featuring Beyonce, Walk on Water. Oh. Uh, here are the facts. Eminem, oh, this is his comeback. Okay. The album's coming out. What's it called? Revival, Revival, dude. Revival. Ever since 2013. 2013 is the last time he released the uh, Marshall Mathers LP. Yeah. I mean, I was just like, what? 2013? That was... <laughs> Five that's, years ago? Yeah. yeah, that's like that's like a high school yeah. yes. career. <laughs> exactly. So do you know what the song do you know a little bit what the song's about? Walk, so it's basically about like, listen guys, you have so many expectations for me. You think that like every every single thing I is gonna has to be a hit, it has yeah. to be bigger than all the other hits I ever have. And he's like, you know, that pressure gets to me. And like, you think that like, I don't feel these things. Like I know what everything you're saying. You think that, you know, I'm dead. You know, yeah. you think I'm never gonna come out with a sit single. You think I'm the rap thing is gone. But he's like, listen, I'm human and this this is bothering me. And the Beyonce's like, walk on water. <laughs> and, then she, and then you're realizing what they're saying is we're yeah. human, you know? Right. And it's a hit, the yeah. song's a hit. Yeah. Um, I think all of his albums need to be called Revival because Eminem just goes in this place where you don't even see him yeah, anywhere, mm -hmm. you know, and he comes back. Um, I, I, so, okay, did I like the, the song is okay to me. Song's okay. Um, I feel like it would be kind of better with Rihanna on there for mm. some reason. I think Rihanna has a, uh, sometimes, you know, her voice is just, will fit the song a little bit better to me. Yeah, I just heard it in my um, head with yeah. Rihanna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, one thing I like about Eminem, he shows that he's a true artist where I feel like artists don't, a lot of artists now, they come out back to back. Mm. But for him to be gone for five years and then people, he's coming back and he's, people are still looking for him, I think that just shows what true, what, what an amazing artist that he is. Mm. Agree. You agree? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, uh, it's also like, guys, Eminem has proven 
his talent, his worth, his skill, okay? Yeah. And like this is this is this is what's wrong with everybody. Everyone's just like everyone's like, oh my god, can can it can he top it? It's yeah. like that's just like he has proven his worth, yeah. okay? So it's like calm down, all right? And this is, that's the point of the song. Yeah. Like, yeah. And this album, yes, everyone's gonna be seeing like, is this album amazing? But well, how about we go into it appreciating that Eminem is just like a rap icon, okay? Yeah. And you know, just appreciate what he's given us musically. Right. Anyways, we're here for it. We love you, Eminem. If you ever want to come on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Leave Detroit and come to New York. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, let Beyonce. us know if you or guys Beyonce. like yeah. this song with Beyonce. <laughs> and are you excited for his next album? Are you guys? Tweet us at iHeartRadio and hashtag what guys? Fresh, Fresh Pick, Pick Mondays. Mondays. Thank you. We should make a, Ooh, yeah. a, a group. Yeah. An album. Yeah. An album. <laughs> an album. <laughs> um, ooh, guys, can you make some kind of noise for me? Because I'm about okay. to go into another segment. Okay. I feel like this is the only noise I can yeah. I know, but something like. Da, 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 da. I was like, <laughs> thank, thank you. I can't really run my tongue, but. I'm going to nod you guys. Uh, it's time for the freshest pick of the week, where we choose something that is so fresh. Whoa, so fresh, so hot. Ouch, it's yes. very hot, okay? Ooh. And we think it should be I on your like radar. Oh. What is it, what is it? <laughs> Guys, Warp Tour is coming to an end, what? okay? Yeah. Let me tell you some facts here. Okay. So Warp Tour for, I mean, it, neither of you have been to Warp Tour. No, no. I, I haven't. You I have know what it is. My, I mine have, haven't I, either. I definitely have had my emo Oh, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> Listen, I picked my sister off from Warp Tour, so I got to experience a little bit of it, okay? <laughs> so let me tell you, it's one of the most legendary rock tours of all time. I mean, it's, it's literally been around for such a long time, but it's coming to an end next year. Are people upset about it? Yeah, yeah. they are, I okay? And says, Billboard says that according to producer Kevin Lyman, who founded the festival in 1995, Whoa. It's a long time ago, guys. You know, that ancient was like times. Yeah. Numerous factors, including an evolving summer festival industry, a lot of summer festivals mm. now, a shrinking pool of bands, why? And a declining ticket sales amongst its teenage demographic led to him declare the tour's 24th year is its last. There's, there's a lot, there's some sadness about yeah. that, you know? It's like yeah. if like a Governor's Ball ended, or like Lollapalooza, or God forbid Coachella, oh. what are what are, is everyone gonna do with the fashion? Yeah. You know, know, where are they gonna wear it? But you know, it is a sad thing, and I think they have had a cult following for many, many years, but mm -hmm. obviously the industry tra changes, people change, and you know, I guess it's coming to an end. It's sad. Yeah. It's sad. I'm yeah. sad for the people who, who love that music, yeah. and I do like a little bit of that music. Yeah. Every time I think of Warped Tour, I think of Blink-182. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know, but I hope I hope that they go out with a bang. Yes. I hope that it's like the best yes. Warped Tour yes. ever. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll actually go. Yeah. Ooh. I'll I mean, go with you. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if this is the last one, I, I got I to gotta see. You got to go. I got to see what the hype is. Exactly. Yeah. I would hate for it just a tradition to end. You know, yeah. a lot of people yeah. probably just go to it every year, mm. and then it's just like, oh, well, now what do we do? Do we yeah. go to Cancun this weekend? Right, right, do we right. Go, right. You know, do, do you guys whatever. go to festivals? Have you gone to any festivals? Yeah. I do. Um, I can't remember the last festival. Oh, that I went okay. To. We I gotta to, make this a trip. Yeah, I went to Lollapalooza, of but of course, course it was in Chicago. Chicago. Lollapalooza is always yeah. clean, though. I, that's what I love about Lollapalooza. Yeah. Every time I'm like, it's so clean here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, guys, thank you so much for being here. No thank problem. you so much for always talking pleasure. about all the things that we're always talking about. Guys, we're gonna we're on every two weeks on Monday, 6 p.m. Facebook Live. Please love us, join us, leave us comments, tweet us. Are we always checking the comments under us? Always. always. Yes, and like I, I read said, those. exactly. Yes. Don't leave read comments because we. All have moms and dads and people who love us who who look at these mean comments and they hurt inside yeah. okay? let's not hurt each other let's just be nice um well that's it thank you guys so much for being here thank we love you, you. you. till next time bye. bye for more search fresh pick mondays in the iHeartRadio app or on iheartradio.com your number one choice for new music discovery